God bless you today. Susan Waldrop here, September 25, 2015. The Holy Spirit sent me an unbelievable vision this morning regarding what is presently happening on the planet right now, especially exclusively right now. It seems that America is being targeted and set up. America is being delusioned. They are being deceived. And those of us that have eyes to see, ears to hear, we must proclaim from the mountaintop, from the rooftop. We must stand for what we know is true because we are not to be deceived by things that the enemy would set up to come in our face with and try to take even the elect, even the elect, to be deceived by. So we thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're always with us. Lord, I, I personally thank you this morning for sending me this amazing dream amazing dream even so father god thank you so much for the opportunity to share it with your body <clears throat> right now in the name of jesus i ask that you anoint even my throat father and my hands father that you tell us that we are to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover so, Father God, in the name of Jesus in proxy, we stand for all of the afflicted, those that are not open, that their eyes and ears would be open to what is presently happening in your beloved country, the United States of America. As I share this dream, this vision that you, you gave me this morning, and also the personal words you gave me, after that to share with the people as well thank you lord now bless our day father and open our ears now to hear what you would say father god in the name of jesus amen okay the holy spirit sent me a dream i'll begin with that and then i'm going to share the words that he gave me just before i turned the camera on as i asked him what would you have what would you personally say to the people Anybody that is filled with the Holy Spirit that God speaks to, if you ask God to speak to you, number one, He will. You can have a personal relationship. This is not something that Susan has exclusively. This is accessible to the body of Christ. I want to make that perfectly clear. The vision this morning was that I was observing from a distance. I was looking down and I saw all of this water, <clears throat> all of this water covering the land. And it was a huge amount of water. It was as though it was a, an ocean on top of land. Now, I don't mean where the oceans are. I mean where there was supposed to be dry land, there was water, and it was totally covering it. And then I saw Little Town, which was symbolic of several towns. For you see, even not just the coastal areas are being swept. This was symbolic as well as this, I believe, is physically going to happen. God is not going to totally destroy the earth by water. No, he said he would never do that again. But as it was in the days of Noah, this is symbolic as well as physical. The Holy Spirit is speaking to us and showing us that he is allowing the enemy to have his hour at the end. You see, if God wanted to stop this thing right now, he could and he would. But he is allowing his plan. 
He is allowing this plan so that at the end, he will come back and save his people of Jerusalem, of Israel. And you and I will come back with him. The dream was that there was a lot of land, water over land. And I could see the colors of it, you know. Some of it had deeper blues. and I mean, it was very, very, dis very, very detailed. Then I saw, as I said, a, a small town. And, and it was uh, as though people were teaching, you know, it was a school. And what happened was this huge wave, this little teeny school was here. And this huge wave about this big came over. And the people in the school didn't even know that the huge wave was there. And as it overtook the school, they found themselves as it was when Moses crossed the sea, that the land, the water, excuse me, covered up all of the people. This is what's happening right now, spiritually, physically and emotionally the people <clears throat> are being deceived so as I woke up it was unbelievable it was so very very real and I want to share with you now the words that the Lord gave me it was so sad it was the saddest thing I've ever seen it was like the people were just being consumed by all this water. They didn't even know that the water was there covering them. Unbelievable. Tidal wave of deception, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. We could take a lot of time to talk about that, but I, I put it to you to consider and pray, pray about this because this is the, what's happening now with the Pope visiting with Obama that is uh, the, the greatest deception besides the Pope that is on the planet right now. Tidal wave that will devastate the land and the people in it. Only a remnant shall be saved, remember that. So you that are the remnant, these are the words the Holy Spirit gave me to give you now. This is an hour of great sadness as I watch my people that I love being swept away by the fantasies of their heart. This is a day I knew would come, but I'm not glad in it. Greatly saddens me. It greatly saddens the Lord to see this. He's not happy. As many of you look up, as I have told you, as he said to us in the last days, when you see all these things, look up. I urge you to not be so self-consumed by your own desires to escape, but rather to pray for those that you do not see. Pray for those that are being led away as sheep to the slaughter, for surely they are heading for a huge cliff that is not even seen to them, for their eyes are caught up in the things that they think will help them, when in reality these things will take them further and further and further from me, from real love. Pray pray. These are the words of the Father this morning that he gave to me to share with you. We are to not be so self-consumed thinking about the rapture is coming today, tomorrow. We know the Lord is coming. But let us not be consumed with things that would get us off track, off base, not praying. This is so very important. 
You are to stand in the calling God has given you. And you and I are to pray for those that don't even see this coming, that are swept away. As that little girl was picked up by the police the other day and taken to the Pope to have him kiss her, I saw how they were even using a child. Such evil manipulation as the little girl was so happy to receive a kiss from the Pope. But I saw this in retrospect as Judas kissed Jesus. That child is innocent. That child truly loves God. She truly wants to be a part of America, some place of hope. And how the world would follow along as Pied Piper fl blows his horn and all of the people follow enchanted behind him. Father, I pray, we pray, we pray as you tell us to, Father. For great is the hour of deception and darkness that falls surely upon the face of the earth this day. The darkness is falling emotionally, for people are being carried away in the lusts of the flesh, the lusts of fantasies of their own mind, of what they think is going to fix everything. They're being caught up in the wave of deception physically, Father, as they step into all of these health arenas where they are said that this immunization will help them, that immunization will help them. Even the water that comes out of their faucet has many types of pharmaceuticals found in it that are coming from the sewage. Father God, your people are being deceived, Father, by this as well. Father, the tidal wave of deception is coming over them spiritually. For they are looking to one man that will have the answer when even so, it was not even spoken in a recent speech. You, Father, Jesus was not even mentioned in the Congress the other day. You were not even mentioned, Lord. All they focused on was equality political issues, fixing things, and that one person should be put in place to fix this all. This is a deception and a lie from the enemy to the very core of their spirit, Father, that they think they can turn the tide around and fix it. They are not looking to the Creator but they're looking to a man who is standing with a robe on, appearing as an angel of light, when in actuality he is the angel of death. He is the angel of death, along with his constituent that stands beside him, who there is no record of in colleges that he said he's attended or anything, Father. There's no record of him at all. And so, Father, we pray. We pray, Father God, for those that have written in recently asking for help. One writes in yesterday, I need healing and to be delivered from a skin rash. Father, we come up against these physical ailments that this one and many others are experiencing. They don't know why. It could be for many reasons, Father, but the root of all sickness, the root of all of it, is the deception that the enemy has put in place. So, Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against us that are in you, Lord, will prosper. And that we can bless our food, 
that you have told us to keep our eyes upon you when we see all these things to look up and rejoice but yet father god we pray for those whose eyes are enchanted by their own education that they have been raised up even some in the jesuit line thinking this will save them this will rise them above everything but in your word it says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of god not the elevation of self the beginning of wisdom is the humbling of ourself so father we humble ourselves and we thank you as we pray for one for one another in this hour that you save those you heal those physically spiritually that have emotional problems they're trying to get rid of out of their life unforgiveness is stopping much we say in the name of jesus let it go consciously choose make a choice and say i'm not going to let it touch my spirit any longer i'm going to be well in my spirit for the spirit man that god is taking in my spirit is the beginning of wisdom the peace that passes all understanding and the lord god that healeth thee that bore the stripes for me and as i rededicate my life i feel and know he's in me he's giving me peace that passes all understanding In Jesus name some of you just need to let it go that's really what I'm wanting to tell you now you've held on held on held on for many many years you continue to replay it to tell others of your being victimized you continue to tell others how educated you are how established you are remember god spoke through a donkey he doesn't really need your degrees he just wants your heart it's very simple the gospel is very simple thank you jesus for this blessed presence we feel from you lord as we thank you for your aroma that fills us this day as we stop and we just partake and enjoy your presence lord healing us as the balm of gilead from everything everything thank you jesus thank you for the perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon thee as we go throughout our day now, bless us with your presence. In Jesus' name, I love you. Jesus is with us. Never, ever forget that. Let him find us when he comes about his business. Send me your prayer requests. Send me your praise reports. Thank you for your faithful giving. I love you so very much. And have a blessed, anointed, appointed day in Him.